me go. And who are you again? Shut up! You're not going anywhere. I've called the police. You're going to be arrested. <sighs> you can and happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, I wouldn't have baked anything, but, you know, it's big meal Thanksgiving, so I wanted to contribute something. It's probably not even any good. Oh, <laughs> don't be silly. I'm sure you knew everything about tarts. Bottom line, you drove Nate straight into Danny's arms. I guess I'm just not a fast learner. Or maybe I, I just don't get it. How do you keep your enemies close? Oh, there are lots of ways. I'd be happy to teach you. Not by example, though. I beg your pardon? Well, if there's Rex, I mean, you hate him. And you keep him as far away from you as possible. So Charlie's your dad? That's what they tell me. Well, I'm happy for you. I mean, he's a great guy. Yeah, he is. I know. It would have been something if you and I were related after all. Hey, you're my sister in every way that counts. I know. And you're my brother. You talk to Roxy? No. How'd she take it? Well, she kicked Echo out of the hotel. Nice. Well, you don't seem too upset. I don't know what to feel. I am just glad that this little baby knows who his parents are. Makes life a hell of a lot easier. Hmm. You're gonna be the best dad. Thanks, Shane. I know I made my share of mistakes with you. And... That wasn't your fault. It was because of the war. I always knew that you loved me. I still love you like a son, and that's the truth. And now that you're gonna marry Jessica, I mean, <laughs> you're going to, right? That's the plan. <laughs> well... Charlie's married to Jessica's mom. And if he's my grandpa, then that means that we're kind of related. <laughs> it does. Oh, no, it does. You're absolutely right. That's Bo. I gotta take it. Hey, quick rolling, will you? You're making me look bad. So, Rex has told me so much about you. And you know what? I bet underneath all that makeup, you're a pretty young thing. Excuse me? Mm. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I apologize. It's just... I'm a photographer, and I scrutinize everything. Great. And I've seen you before, too. At Rhodey's. You're a waitress, right? Part-time. Um, until I finish school. You're still in school? I just started. I got pregnant in high school. Kind of puts your education on hold. Mm. Pregnant by... That's right. Mm -hmm. Rex. But from what I understand, he never knew because you never told him. Just like you never told Charlie. Don't tell me. Honey, I'll be back as soon oh, as I no. can. What happened? Someone crashed Dorian's Thanksgiving, got a little violent. So send a couple of uniforms. We're talking about the mayor. And she wants the commissioner of police to escort a bum down to the station? I made a point of putting this particular individual on notice. Who is it? Eddie Ford. Oh, my God. Who's Eddie Ford? My ex-husband. You said he was violent. Did anyone get hurt? Uh, I don't know, but look, I gotta go. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. Okay, look. Look on the bright side. This individual may have bought himself a one-way ticket out of town. Nate! I didn't think you could come! Hey, Des. So what are you guys up to? Well, I was just telling Destiny how I felt when I first found out that Todd was my real father. But now look at us. One big, happy family. Todd, listen to me. You are going to end up driving Star and Hope out of our lives. What's next? You are. Listen to me. I know what I am talking about. You'll, you'll end up driving Danny out of our lives next. What That's what's going to... Yes. No. The only thing I want in Danny's life yes. that is not there is for that idiot Nate to be out of it. One big happy family. Nice, Dad. Are you gonna make me and Nate miserable just like you did with Star and Cole? You know, Darren's mom is a serious cook and I know she has room at her table. Perfect, let's go. You want Danny to stay, you apologize, or I will call Star and tell her. Danny. What? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been such a... 
possessive father. Mm hmm Not to mention an insensitive jackass. Okay, there you go. I apologize. Don't make me regret coming back from the dead. Nate? Uh, yes? I apologize. But, you know, I, I did give, get you that half a million dollars after you stole that 50 k that got you kidnapped, so... Anyway, don't, don't take everything I say so seriously. Great. We'll remember that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean, Mr. Manning. And I accept your apology. Danny? Fine. Fantastic. You know Echo's broke. You know, we went to buy lunch for Rex the other day, and they declined her credit card. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but how is that our problem, darling? Well, I'm just saying, she has no place to stay. And you heard Shane. You live right across the lawn, and... Look, it isn't like we don't have room here. Charlie, are you seriously suggesting that she moves in here with us? You sure you don't want something stronger? <laughs> Why? Well, the way Bo just took off. I'm sorry, don't listen to me. I'm paranoid. Ever since you left me, I don't trust anyone. God, is that true? Well, after you ran off with my brother, yeah, it's true. But now, this thing with Inez. Okay. You think she may have a crush on Bo? She said no. You asked her? No. Did you believe her? I don't even know her. You, know? you think Bo is attractive? No. Oh, I, how should I know? You know? What is that? Is that a yes? Sorry, I just. I just thought you should know. Bo just texted me. Well, that was very nice of him. Yeah, he's just getting to Mayor Lord's house. Oh, thank heaven you're here. Come on and arrest that man. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, what do you know? It's the commish. Come to make good on his little promise. What happened here, Mayor? Uh, well, this Bulgarian is virtually trespassing. I certainly didn't invite him in. When he was politely asked to leave, he... He, he, he brutally... Punch that young man. Is that true? It, on, honestly, it, it was nothing. I'm okay. Hey, hey, it's fine. What about your eye? It was a brutal attack. Coffin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, son. Tell him it was just a big holiday misunderstanding, right? I don't think anybody misunderstands what happened here. Mr. Ford, you punched your son. Well, you can't arrest me for that. Watch me. <sighs> you know, buddy boy. You're gonna pay for this on top of what you already owe me. A pleasure, Mayor. James. Hey, I'm gonna go talk to him. No, I'll go. Uh, I, I, I can't believe I left him with that son of a bitch. I'm never gonna forgive myself. Hey, listen, you know, I, I can throw away Eli's box if you want me to. Just say the word. No. Uh, I'll keep it. <sighs> All right, I don't want this to confuse you. I still don't like you. But nobody, nobody should have to go through what you and your brother did at the hands of that monster. Why didn't you tell Bo, the police commissioner, what your dad did to you? Sir, you heard him. Okay, just, it just makes things worse. He's just gonna commend me harder. I, I get that it was hard for you growing up, but you're free now. Free? Star, am I, am I free? Look at my face. Okay, is it, is that free? God, I came to a nice house with, with nice people to have a nice, a nice meal, and he shows up and he humiliates me in front of everyone. In front of everyone. He's never, never gonna let me go. It's just the way it is. He's got the power, and I don't, okay? It's useless. It's useless. That's, that's what he used to call me. Useless. And you know what? He's right. He's right because I thought stealing 50 grand and running away would get rid of him forever. Talk about useless. You're not useless, James. James, look at me. You're wonderful.